disease at all? No, but they have battery, and I grabbed him directly. This one was a little liver last night. Oh, was it? Okay. The sound in here just kind of it's like, nah, nah, but it's like the place. It's not really the microphone. Exactly. And so. like upstairs, I feel like you can hear it pretty well as soon as I came down sure. the floor. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. with a whole this many cheese puns? Cheese puns. Oh I heard some about yeah. it. I was yeah. like, yep, <laughs> I could do it. Welcome, Roller Derby fans. We're going to announce this bout, unlike the rest of the day, because announcers have strict union rules about how much we can announce in a day. So we're starting now. I'm, well, I'm Reverend Killjoy. I'm joined here by... Burr Nasty. Thank you, Nasty. And we've got the Windy City Rollers and the second wind and the Minnesota Nice of the Minnesota Roller Girls. Looks like we have Little Rascal on the line. She was making some big points yesterday. Let's see what she's got today. I expect more of the same. And Nicholas Rage. Let's play some dirt. In last night's first jam, Little Rascal scored 24 points. Let's see if she uh, can do that again. She's definitely pushing up front, but not through as your lead jammer. Nicholas Rage is through as your lead jammer. Nice spin move on that outside. It looks like Nicholas Rage has four points to start this game off. To zero for the nice. So the second wind uh, getting first blood here in this one. We've got Valkyrie on the line for Minnesota Nice. And it looks like Hannibal Wrecker uh, for Windy City second wind. Got some tough tripods happening. And it looks like a power jam as we've got Hannibal headed to the box. And another second wind skater going to join her in the box. And that is the pivot. So we've got the pivot and the jammer sitting in the box currently. Valkyrie's lead. Little offensive blocking there, I believe, from Gay of Reckoning of the Nice. Correct. And Val Valkyrie. has to recycle back around. And Hannibal Wrecker is out of the box and through. That was just her initial pass. Valkyrie's calling it off. Should be some points coming there. Yes, it is tied 4-4. Four, four. For all of you watching at home, Windy City is in white. Minnesota Nice is in black with the Aqua and Army. Windy it's City, of course, sporting the classic Chicago flag. Yes. As they've done for many moons. And everyone's sweating because it's 150 degrees in here. Glad I'm not on skates currently. We have number 65. That is T-Rex, who was quite successful yesterday. Tiptoeing on the outside and is lead jammer. 
Windy City coming around fast, though. Number six, that is Tina Fado. T-Rex forced to recycle as Fatal gets through and gets her points first. So now T-Rex is the one trying to play catch up even as lead jammer. Trying to get those points and calling off the jam at the behest of her coach. Fun fact, Tina Fado brews kombucha in her old helmet. In what? Her old helmet. Not in like you could tell the difference. Have you had kombucha her before? Her old helmet. That's sure. A, that's a very good point yeah. about kombucha. Well, adds yes. a little flavor. <laughs> in her old helmet. That's great. That's a truly fun fact. Thank you for getting the fun facts here tonight, Nancy. You'll remember that forever. I will. We have Sodium Fine, otherwise known as So Fine, up on the line jamming for Minnesota Nice. And that's Nicholas Rage back out there for the Windy City second wind. Right. It's going to be Rage lead jammer as the second wind has an 8-6 lead after only three jams. Nicholas Rage taking a hop on that apex to get around the Minnesota blockers. According to Windy City, Nicholas Rage is our national treasure. Ah, oh, I like that one too. Fun facts. Fun facts. Another hop on the outside that time. Very agile, making points. Coming up against a tough wall, however, up front. We've got Ballers sequin shorts. Stopping some jammers out there. Baller in them, of course. Very tough blocker. So I on the we've got Esmeralda and uh, Pretty Rackless as well in that tripod up front. Rackless was a very uh, effective blocker last night. Really, uh, really stood out. Absolutely. They were able to slow Nicholas Rage down for quite a while, but finally does get through and get those four points. We've got OG is waiting to get back on the track there, refusing to be drawn back. But Nicholas Rage through again. Now at 16 points. That's right, and the, calling off the jam at the instruction of Windy City's coach to trap so fine in the box but that was a that was a high scoring jam as you said 16 points to only six and we've got an official review let's see uh, what are the official fun facts official fun facts absolutely I know you got um, we have a lot of cat facts those are always <laughs> fun um, Irma Gerd who uh, likes my cats I like hers as well Scout is the name of Ermagerd's cat. Ermagerd, one of my favorite derby names. It's a good name, for Fun sure. Fun to say. For sure. Ermagerd. And a good person using that name as well. Right, yeah. It's an upstanding citizen. Um, Triple Destruction has two cats and a toddler. Teaches children, but two cats. That's important. Um, looks like Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> her cat's name is Bruce, and her dog's name is Bowie. Aww. I know. So those are the animal facts that I have. We'll okay. save some of the other fun things for later. Um, a wise choice on your part. Right. And hopefully we'll find out what we're, um, the officials are officially talking about. Well, thus far, the, it was close until this last jam and then the second win really able to take advantage of that power jam uh, my I wasn't you know I was more watching the action on the track but it seemed that that penalty lasted a long time That penalty did seem to last a long time I don't know if it was a full minute for some reason um, I didn't catch what had happened perhaps she got back on and then ended up back in the box those of you watching from home maybe saw it a little bit better so thanks uh, for watching it's great that we've got that live feed um, exciting news, we've got Little Rascal back on that jam line, and Hannibal Wrecker is back out there for Windy City. Okay, so, it's, so when the last jam ended, Minnesota's jammer was still in the penalty box, but now they're fielding a jammer on the track, so something must have changed. Something happened. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's being talked about right now. I'm confident that it is. Okay, well, great. I'm hoping we get some insight. Regardless, if Minnesota starts with a jammer, um, it is because that jammer had been released or shouldn't have been in the box any longer. Well, we trust our officials to know Absolutely. and to do the right thing.
we could um, announce some of the people that are skating out there. We've got Ooh. some rosters to go over. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's Great do idea. That. Excellent. All right. Um, do you want to talk about Windy City? I would be honored to talk about Windy City. Uh, Windy City Roller, second win tonight, number 182, Blink, one skatey two. That's a fun one. Number 187, Kickin' McChugget. Number 1975, Nasty Al. Number 21, Trixie, Tricky Pixie. Number 260, Trouble Helix. Number 5, Fox Force. Number 512, Sandy Cheeks. Number 52, Death Ray. Number 6, Tina Fatal. Or Fatal. Number 69, Demanda Beating. Number 775, Vanasty. Number 777, Pitbull Princess. Number 815, Pika Bruise. 820, Hannibal Wrecker. And number 9, Nicholas Rage. Excellent. Thank you. We'll talk about the Minnesota Skaters in a minute. Um, Let's Hannibal do that. Wrecker, you just announced, is the lead jammer and is making points currently up front. It looks like we did have a star pass. And so fine is putting on that helmet cover. Or, or, or she may have come out of the box and been the jammer, took it off, put it back on. Um, I'll pay more attention. We're going to have to pay a lot it's of attention here because stuff's getting weird. Tonight. Yes. This is like a challenge bout just for us. Right. To understand what's going on and tell people accurately what's happening. The people at home who are watching, I'm sure they understand. Um, what I do know is we've got malls to the walls in the penalty box right now for Minnesota. And it looks like we've got a cut on SoFine headed to the box. We'll pay more attention to what's happening now with that jammer being off the track. And 820 still being pointed at. That is Hannibal Wrecker. Has gotten through for 12 points already. And right around that outside for another four. And again, th that s slick outside move, like a hot knife through a... Cliché. Through a cliché. I was actually going to go with like a hot knife. I couldn't make myself say it, though. Like a hot knife through a fava bean. Is that, I think, yeah. Great. I like that better. I was, that was it still makes that. me feel gross. Right. So, so fine is still in the box. Uh, the score currently, second win, 44 points. Minnesota, nice, nine. Tina Fatal, the jammer of record for the second wind. And a penalty on the Windy City jammer, Tina Fatal. Looks like that may have been a back block, although we didn't have a good angle on seeing the call. Right. What we do know is Minnesota jammer is getting back on that track and Minnesota blockers are playing some offense, working to get her through. We see Esmerhelda, baller, OGs out there. Now positioning themselves to let her push up at the front. Iser Slam also bridging there. Big three wall up front as the second wind sheds blockers to maintain pack. So they can continue to slow down so fine. Oh, and then she's forced to recycle to the outside, there was one oh. jammer or blocker to beat. So close. That's, that'll take the wind out of you there when you're that far up. And it looks like we've got Windy City Jammer back on the track. So fine is indeed out of the pack now, being called not lead. Hopping on that inside. But being called for a cut and going back to the box. So is that the, man, this is, this is when I wish I had a penalty board like the back in the old days so I could look and see how many penalties she's got. Because it's at least three, but possibly four Correct. or even more. That's, that's what I'm going to guess as well. And it looks like Baller and Iser Slam are going to join her on that bench as, uh, yeah, as Tina Fatal makes another four points and is deciding what to do next as she comes up to the back of that pack. It just we doesn't seem very nice to me. Oh, geez, and Esmeralda on the, uh, on the track for Minnesota Nice. And uh, Tina Fatal making easy work of getting those points. Second wind 
accrued 12 points in that jam, and they are now up 56 to 9. And this time, Little Rascal is indeed on the track, and I believe going to jam. Had it been three jams in a row that Sofine was the jammer? I believe that is correct. Yes, going in and out of the box. Number nine, Nicholas Rage hops around that outside and just speedy coming around that track to make point. The Nice finally gets some reinforcements from the penalty box, but it's not soon enough as Rage sees an inside line and takes the shortest way around the track for those four points. We've got bodies falling to the inside. Minnesota Nice providing some offensive work. And Little Rascal out of that pack. But Nicholas Rage calling it off after getting eight points total on that jam. Timeout called by the Minnesota Nice. Because, uh, you know, the things have not been going so nicely for them in the last couple of jams. Not Time in the to take last a minute. Couple of jams, yeah. They're going to regroup, do some deep breathing while we talk about some other fun facts. Um, so Blink 182, which is a great name. Accurate. <laughs> for a skater. Uh, was apparently the first skater on Mars. Oh, that is a fun fact. But was, was she also on the moon? Um, I will find out at At half the same time, because the moon is part of Mars? Right. We know this, sure. right? Sure, yes. It's science. Science. Um, the other thing I know is that uh, Blink 182 is a playwright working on Cloudy with a Chance, coming soon to the Greenhouse Theater in Chicago. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Fun fact about Minnesota, um, we can tell you who's actually skating for them, because we've got a minute here. We've got a 011 Baller, 0707 Valkyrie. Number 14 is Breezes. 19, Iser Slam. Number 22 is Sugar Beatdown. 229 is Sodium Fina, otherwise known as So Fine. 313 is Kung Pao Bitchin. 33 is Little Rascal. 34, Pretty Rackless. 37 is OGs. 556 is Malls to the Walls. 65 is T Rex. And 75 is Gay of Reckoning. Number 82 is Brutal Brit. And 87 is Esmeralda. So we've got uh, Valkyrie on the line, um, who's jamming right now, actually, up front. And this is a power jam as Hannibal Wrecker uh, went to the box. I saw she was on the inside line, did not see the call specifically. And we do have a lead jammer. It's going to be Valkyrie. I believe this is Valkyrie's uh, first lead jam of this game. Looking to make some points and uh, tighten up that gap a little bit. And it looks like Hannibal Wrecker came onto the track and immediately went back to the box with a penalty, but Valkyrie is going to maybe join her there. Valkyrie is headed to the box. So this is one of those fun switcheroos where one jammer is going to sit down, the other one gets to be released. So that is Hannibal Wrecker coming onto the track for Windy City. You see a strong tripod up front for Minnesota. It is OGs, Esmer Helda, and Kung Pao. Cannibal slides through on that inside. And they're regrouping up at the front now. Some great toe stop work, really pushing on that front. And Valkyrie is back on the track as well. Kung Pao Bitchin headed to the box. I believe that was a high block. Now each pack... Uh or each set of blockers with that triangle defensive formation that's so popular and successful these days. First came to my attention from some European teams using that technique. And let me tell you, it baffled American teams the first time they saw that. They had no idea what to do. And then we started practicing it and found out how effective that could be, being able to rotate in that tripod or that braced wall. Um, knocking jammers around a little bit, paying attention to who's where. Being that backward controller, um, you really have eyes on where that jammer is and can communicate easily to the rest of your blockers. So T-Rex to the line for the nice. Uh, blink one, Skatey two for the second wind. 
And T-Rex is very hoppy on those toe stops. Popping out the front, but getting stopped by that tripod of Windy City. And Blink 1 Skatey 2 has been called lead jam for this, for this jam. Very strong defensive walls. Kind of got everybody stopped up on corner two. Blink one skatey two is through. That's right. The Knights tried to reform, but they had to go. They had to split their pack, go around the Chicago pack, and it wasn't quite enough time to reform that wall. Meanwhile, and we've got the star pass. Yeah, yeah. We have Kung Pao Bitchin putting on the star. This is the first time she's jammed, and Windy City is calling it off before Minnesota Knights can make any points. Um, it does look like we are now at 75 points for second wind and 11 points for Minnesota Nice. Fun fact, uh, Miller Light does not like Miller Light. Maybe he lost a bet and had to be named that. No, Miller Light, one of our uh, referees and outside pack ref at this time, said the name has nothing to do with beer. In fact, the beer stole his name. That's really how that worked. And Breezes is jamming for Minnesota. Really loves hopping those inside and outside lines. Has been knocked out and is being drawn back. Windy City has gained lead jammer uh, status. That is Nicholas Rage. Breezes Who passes, is for points. passes the star to Baller, but the jam's going to be called yep. as Baller gets out of the pack. So... What's Great strategy to get rid of that uh, helmet cover. If you mm -hmm. are not lead jam, sometimes you hang on to it and you get through the pack. Sometimes you pass it on. Um, can be very effective. So a little rascal back on the line up against Hannibal Wrecker. I believe we've seen them match up before. We've seen Hannibal on the line quite a few times. Accurate. Little rascal's got some family in the house cheering her on here tonight. Fun fact, uh, Little Rascal and I grew up in the same small town of about 1,200 people. Oh, which one is that? It's up north. It's Aiken, just north oh, yeah. of uh, Garrison. I know where that is. Yep. People drive through it all the time. Um, Hannibal has gained a lead jam status and is looking to make some more points for second wind. Gay of Reckoning working to do a little offense for Little Rascal. Oh, and a hop on that inside that was not quite successful. But did not get a penalty for it. So back on the track, pushing against that back wall. Again, we've got that strong tripod. We've got Sugar Beat Down, Brutal Brit, and Malls to the Walls. Hannibal has gotten through, however, and has gained four points on this jam. The time Gay of Reckoning was playing offensive blocking and ran right into the jammer and just got out of the way because so they were so focused on blocking on offense. Do your job and trust your teammates to do their jobs. It didn't Absolutely. work out in that instance. But and not only that, Gay of Reckoning has now taken the um, jammer cap. So is the jammer for Minnesota Nice currently. And second wind is calling that off to prevent any points for Minnesota Nice. And it looks like um, second wind has gained nine points on that last jam. Does that sound right? That sounds, that sounds, sounds right, right to me. So it's 88 to 11. Those are fun numbers. Not super fun for Minnesota right now as they've been at 11 for a little while. Right. Um, but I'm right. sure they're ready to come back from that. They've got Valkyrie on the line jamming. And we're seeing Tina Fatal out there again for Windy City. Valkyrie does a nice job on those lines, stepping over other skaters. But it will be Tina Fatal through first lead jammer. So the second win thus far, not letting the Minnesota Knights even get a first win in this bout so far. Baller does have that star in hand and pushed her way out of the front of that pack. Very strong skater. You don't want to be on the other side of her if she is hitting or jamming against you. She's looking for her line now to try to get through that pack.
Esmer Helda doing some nice offense. Taking out Demanda beating. But the second win still has a nice set of blockers up front. This has been a power jam for Baller, but not that you'd even notice because of the solid blocking of the second wind. Yep, now, they killed that penalty um, quite effectively. And number six, Tina Fatal is back on the track. Baller doing a nice spin move. Ending up up against the shoulder of a blocker of Windy City, but getting back on that track. Kicking McChugget. Boy, that's hard to say. It is. Yeah, I had to look at it in, uh, a couple times before I read that off of there. Kicking McChugget. Um, one on one against Baller right now and really holding her back. Minnesota Nice Blocker is looking to do a little offense to try to help their jammer in this situation. And that jam has come to its two minute conclusion. Baller did get a couple of points on that last pass. Um, so seven for Minnesota Knights and 11 for second wind on that jam. We are currently at 18, so Minnesota Knights has a couple more points on the board now. 17 mm -hmm. to 99. And both 18 and 99 happily divisible by nine, so that's fun. 18, why did I say 17? So we've got T-Rex jumping around on that jammer line. Does some great toe stop work up against a full pack of blockers. Looks like their jammer is in the box, though. That's right, Nicholas Rage taking a seat for uh, 30 seconds or so. But yeah, the blockers for the second wind are really being effective right now. Nowhere for T-Rex to go. Uh, she popped through to get up front and they had recycled right there ready for her. Minnesota positioning themselves for when that jammer is released and T-Rex just pushing as hard as she can up front with a little help from Brutal Brit. And we've got a bit of a... Uh -oh. T-Rex really pushing up front there. Valkyrie trying to hold some jammer, some skaters back. T-Rex just clawing her way forward. And for a second and, there was and no called pass. lead. Excellent. Has passed wow. all of the uh, second win Windy City blockers, but is stuck up front. So much heart and pushing there. And does call it off, icing the uh, second win Windy City Jammer in the box, it looks like. I think so. Uh, I'm not sure if she nope. was released. Looks looks like uh, that jammer must have been released. So we do have two jammers on the line. We've got Hannibal Wrecker and Little Rascal being paired up again on that jammer line. That was a long jam for zero points to be scored. Very impressive defense by uh, particularly the second win, but also by the nice. Little Rascal currently pulling up front. And Minnesota Nice Blocker is holding Hannibal to the back. Great bridge up front. Little Rascal's fan club is cheering for her to get past that last blocker. And she has become lead jammer. Little Rascal gaining lead jam. Very Stat. impressive one-on-one -on -one blocking there by demand a beating of the nice, but eventually, or I'm sorry, not of the nice, of the wind, the second wind. But eventually, indeed, Little Rascal did get through for what's been a rare lead jam situation for Minnesota tonight. And Little Rascal has gotten through a bit of a pile up on that one corner. She's looking to her bench and continuing to skate. Kung Pao Bitchin and Esmerhella doing a nice job of holding Hannibal Wrecker back.
again, that tough blocking trio. We've got Vanasty, as well as Demand a Beating up front, holding Little Rascal. Well done, getting four points on the board for Minnesota Nice. Second wind also received four. Sometimes pushing against that kind of wall is like trying to push a truck uphill. Absolutely. All, all of the power that uh, the skaters have practiced for, that agility, that strength. And Breezes on the line. Up against Bl uh, Blink, 182. It should be easy to remember the name of the skater whose number is 182. I think we're you just going to we're going to get that now. Yes. That's going to be an easy one for I'm us. I'm going to work on that. Remembering it and saying it correctly, two different things. Lots of action up front and Blink 1 Skatey 2 has gotten around on the inside is called lead jammer for this jam. Blink 1 Skatey 2 is now sitting in the box giving Breezes an opportunity to get out of that pack. Yeah, the Nice has had plenty of opportunities on uh, power jams here, but boy, the, the blocking walls of the second wind are just, just suffocating here right now for most of these Minnesota jammers. Very solid. We have uh, Pitbull Princess out there right now for second wind. Their pivot, Sandy Cheeks, who is from uh, Texas, fun fact. Ooh. That's where the name comes from. And Minnesota's talking and yelling out to each other. Good communication on the track to be prepared for Blink 1 Skatey 2. Breeze is still pushing up front. So four points, four points on the board there for the second win from Blink. Skatey, I don't know, I'm just shortening that name in arbitrary ways. Skater number 182. Oh, Breeze is doing a fabulous job spinning around and staying on that track, using those toe stops and those slippery skills to get through. And that was a two-minute jam. Did wow. that feel like a two-minute jam? It, I'm, I bet it felt like an eight-minute jam to Breeze. Yes. Goodness gracious. Did make it through out, out of that pack at the end there. Um, so, Valkyrie back on the line up against Nicholas Rage. We've seen Nicholas Rage be very successful with scoring points for second win. And this blocking pod for Minnesota Nice, we've got OGs up front doing a little offense with Esmeralda, Baller, and Kung Pao Bitchen in that tripod in the back. Nicholas Rage has gotten out of the pack for lead jam status, but Valkyrie right on her tail. You gotta love the Valkyrie big right arm swing on those yes. corners. Just that's how you know. power. That's how you know she means business. Power. And she is yeah. a very powerful skater. Absolutely. She's hit me down before. I bet. Not a fan of that. So you that's a 1-0 jam in favor of the second wind. Second wind. Valkyrie getting out quickly enough to cause him to call it off. And T-Rex back on the line, waving to some friends. Looks like she's got a lot of energy in this uh, game today. Very excited about that. And 52 is Death Ray. This is the first time they've jammed in this bout, if I'm, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. We've got Death Ray. That is my memory as well. All right. Gay of Reckoning doing some offensive work. And T-Rex is out for lead jam. Minnesota fans very excited about that. Coming around to make some points. Yes. A little toe stop work on the outside. I personally really appreciate T-Rex's moves on those toe stops. And Brutal Brit working some offense for her. 
Death Ray headed to the box with that uh, high block. So the power jam for T-Rex. A welcome sight to the hometown Minnesota Nice fans here. And T-Rex working to get out that front. A lot of hard recycling for second win, but T-Rex is through, and that is four points for Minnesota Nice. Nice. Nice, nice. Chipping away at that lead a little bit. Again, some offense from Gay of Reckoning. Box Force 5 up at the front there. Doing so blocking against T-Rex, but it looks like we've got eight points on the board in that jam for Minnesota Nice. That's right, so an 8-0 jam helping out Minnesota. So bringing them to a score of 34 to 112 for the second wind of the Windy City Rollers out of and Chicago, Illinois, the United States of America. All of those things, absolutely correct. It looks like we have 18 seconds left in period one. And some big hits to the out. Iser Slam having a little equipment malfunction, perhaps. Getting that hockey helmet secured. But Baller going to the box. And Tina Fatal through for lead jam. I won. So fine pushing up at the front and Tina Fatal going to the box. This is a power jam situation with So Fine holding that cap in hand up against that tough wall of a nasty and tricky pixie. But through through for that initial pass. Not so your lead jammer, but coming back around to work on some points. That's right, and there's one minute left in this jam, thus one minute left in this half. The period clock long expired, and everybody loves extra derby. Could not agree more. All the derby. So this jam will go that full two minutes, since we currently have no lead jammer. Baller so playing some offensive blocker. Yeah, we've got Demanda beating up there again being that braced position of that tripod. Very solid wall, so fine, just grinding away up front. Kung Pao Bitchin heading to the box for a forearm penalty, it looks like. And we get the back block call on Tina Fatal. Tina Fatal's uh, got quite a few penalties in the last Five minutes, I would say. Yeah. Well, whereas So Fine had all her penalties earlier. Earlier. So, you know. It's balancing out the universe. <laughs> That's what it is. That's got what it. it is. We are at intermission. Whew. Well, that was a long two minutes to end that one up. Looks like the listed score 115 to 38 in favor of the second wind. So we will be back with you soon from the Doug Woog Arena in sunny South St. Paul, Minnesota. Doug Woog. It's fun to say. Doug Woog is so fun Doug. to say. It's really unfun to say a, either of those names separately without right, saying right. Doug Woog. Woog. Doug Woog. You have to say it together. Um, you're correct. It's a million degrees outside. So come and grab yourself some concessions over here. We've got uh, cold drinks. We've got hot nuts. We've got all sorts of cool merch. Um, go visit friends. We've got the skating place over here with awesome things like, oh, I could use some of those. We've got laces, we've got um, those things that protect the front of your skate that I never get, so my skates always look like crap. There's wheelie things that are round, those are super important. Um, helmets, S1, we love that. Other gear, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards. Come and look at things, and we'll be back in a bit.
We are wrapping up intermission. Gonna bring some more hard-hitting derby to you from the Doug Woog Arena. Oh, probably. Apron, goodness. Fun fact about Apron, he just steps over whatever is in his way. Um, we do have official officials to announce um, as well. We've got some names here, don't we? Um, Irma Gerd, I mentioned earlier um, with Cat Scout. We've got Aneurysm, fun fact, created a recipe for Care Sunrise, a Care 11 ice cream flavor. Did you know that? I did not know that. Did not know that, okay. Uh, Triple Destruction with uh, two cats, a toddler, and teaches children. Smash Ketchum, great name. Brews Springsteen, also fabulous with Bowie and Brews. Uh, Rodeo Autocorrect, coming from uh, Chippewa Valley Roller Derby. Duke Skellington, Elk, Hale Satin. I'm always afraid I'm going to say that wrong. Her number is 1846. That was the year the sewing machine was invented. Clever. We've got Cupcake Battering, Devastator, and Bach Blocker, who is a big beer guru professional. Amazing dude. And we've got Derby that is happening with T-Rex up front. And it looks like... 1975 being held back by Minnesota, and their jammer is back on the track. That is Tina Fado. That's right. So the half started off in a power jam situation for T-Rex, who did manage to get lead, but then forced out and forced to recycle back around. So a very difficult lead jam call. Yes, T-Rex pulling all the way back and facing those lockers again, looking to her bench to see what she should do next, and they said, you keep on pushing. But she is out, so that is definitely working in her favor. Um, that was her initial pass. Looking to make some points there, doing a little, doing a little hop and calling it off. So T-Rex gets those three points to three also for the second wind. So great job there by Minnesota's blockers slowing down Tina Fatal, holding her to three points over that time that T-Rex was able to get through the pack and get around on that scoring pass. Beautiful, yeah. T-Rex did a nice hop on that inside again, just the agility on those toe stops and got those three points. So we are currently at 41 for Minnesota Nice and 118 for second wind. We've got Little Rascal up against Hannibal Wrecker. We've seen this pair up a couple of times. Little Rascal is pushing up at the front, but it looks that Hannibal Wrecker is through and did gain lead jam status. Minnesota pushing uh, Hannibal out, coming back to that tripod and pushing. Looks like we're going to have a little help from Gabe Reckning coming out of the box and doing some offense for Little Rascal, getting that pack moving a little bit. But a nice swoop around that outside. Actually, for Hannibal Wrecker's trouble, Gets her back in the box. That's right. It was a track cut happened right in front of us. I could see that the outside two wheels slide just over the line. So that was a track cut, but Little Rascal working on getting some points in this power jam situation. Minnesota Nice holding back a bit, being patient. And that was a nice penalty kill on behalf of the second wind blockers. Little Rascal still pushing up front while Hannibal Wrecker is back on that track and working to get through as she does on the inside on one skate. But Little Rascal following closely behind. Four points for each jammer there. 
just under 26 minutes left in the second half of this bout. Minnesota Nice and the second wind. This is not the last derby of the evening here at the Have a Nice Day tournament. We've got another one coming up. Who's in that bout tonight? That's going to be an exciting bout. We have the Windy City and the Minnesota All-Stars. So right now uh -huh. we're seeing second win in Minnesota Nice, which are the All-Star uh, B teams in this B team tournament. The All-Stars from Minnesota, their A team, and Windy City A team is going to be out matched up against each other. Super exciting matchup as well. Yeah, two long-standing leagues from the Midwest have not played each other as many times over the years as you'd think. But when they do. But when they do. <laughs> oh, but when they do. One of the few ties that have ever um, remained a tie because of yeah, some right. wonky scorekeeping back in the day. That was 2012 or something, I believe. That will not be happening tonight. So We have a cut penalty on Valkyrie. Nicholas Rage is our lead jammer for second win. Being drawn back by Baller. Brutal Brit, Malls to the Walls and pretty reckless, but scooping through there. And putting points on the board is Nicholas Rage. Just nonstop Nicholas Rage with that power and agility. Looks like we've got Vonasty heading to the box for second wind. Valkyrie's working that outside line. Yes. Oh, fantastic oh, so job. Close, so close. Who but is does that? Does not ever give up. That is number 21. And that is tricky Pixie. I would say that name. Yeah. Is accurate. It was a well. fantastic effort because because Val had the inside line and Tricky had to go through another blocker or two and then come back inside and cut off Valkyrie. Extremely impressive blocking there. It's the kind of thing that builds you up a big lead in a roller derby bout. Beautiful blocking indeed. Sodium Fina backs on the line, and skater number 182, who we know is. That's right. Blink182. Blink182. One two. Blink one two. What a fun name. Sodium Fina pushing up at front with Esmerhelda doing some offense. Banasty just now coming out of the box. Also working some offense for their jammer, Blink One Skatey Two. So the two all up front able to slow down so fine until it becomes a three wall uh, subsumed back into the pack. Yeah, Demanda beating up there, being joined by Bonasti and. Blink one, skating two around for more points. Her bench is telling her to keep on skating. There's a no pack call. Windy City has to drop a skater. That is Sandy Cheeks, who we mentioned is from Texas. Blink one skatey two having to come back. What? But slides through on that inside line. So Sandy Cheeks, uh, 512, as, he, as we mentioned, um, from Texas, just like her namesake, she is a lead scriptwriter for Nickelodeon. Ooh, that's fun. Fun fact. Fun fact indeed. And she is bumped off the track, also being drawn back at Turn two. So there was a star pass to Kung Pao Bitchin, but that was uh, deemed to be an illegal star pass, and so eventually they sorted it out where Kung Pao Bitchin's in the box. Uh, so fine, had to go back and pick up the star from uh, trackside, but by the time that happened, this jam was over. 
That can get very messy. A star pass that does not go well gets a little messed up, and you have to figure out who needs to grab that hat, where it should go to make a legal free entry on that. We do have T-Rex back on the line. She has been a successful jammer for Minnesota Nice tonight, but taking off that cover as Hannibal Recker is called lead. So the advantage to the Wrecker in the Rex Wrecker matchup this time. I don't know, they have the same name. What do you want me to do? I completely expected that from you, actually. It was beautiful. Hey, we've got Kung Pao bitchin' putting that star helmet cover on, making her the jammer, crashing into that back wall, and perhaps picking up a penalty. Perhaps. Well, at least this time she's got the star definitely on her head for the penalty. Definitely on her so she head. knows which position she's in in the penalty box, knows which chair to sit in. And that was absolutely a penalty. That's why she's in the penalty box. Uh, yeah. So Hannibal Recker, the only jammer on the track oh. right now, and does a great little turn on one skate. Gay Reckoning cruising up front to get a little bump in there at the top. Oh, so we've got Wrecker, Rex, and Reckoning? Yes. But only All two of, of those start with W. They just sound the same. Fun how the English language is like that, huh? We could talk to Gay of Reckoning. Gay of Reckoning, uh, they might put a W uh, on the side yeah, that's of possible. Reckoning. Or not. Perfect just the way it is. And Brutal Brit. Knocking Hannibal Wrecker out, drawing her all the way back. Nice bridge work by Minnesota Nice, and uh, that jam has come to a conclusion. After the excellent effort Brutal made, uh, Jammer decided, I don't need any more of this. I'm good. Good, good with 13 points. Minnesota Nice did pick up three on that jam. And also, uh, the second win able to preserve the power jam. So this one's going to start off with a single jammer on the track. Tina Fatal of the Windy City second wind. Minnesota Nice all defense on the start here. We've got Baller towards that outside line. A little Rascal, Iser Slam, and Esmeralda popping back up in front of their jammer. Got some... Nice two-on-one blocking. Well, it took a while, but eventually Tina Fatal did make it through and get lead. Minnesota making her work for it. Absolutely. All right, paying close attention to what we've got happening right now because it looks like little rascal has that helmet cover and is out of the pack. Sneaky pass and strong effort to pop out the other side. So Rascal forcing the call off, but not in time to score points. Looks like we've got, uh, might be an official review, was one of the signals I saw, by the Minnesota Nice. We'll find out if that's actually what's going on. I see an O. Yep. Oh. 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 And it looks official like official review. Being, yes. And who are they? What bench are they pointing? Are they pointing to uh, to the Minnesota nice. with that? Yeah. yeah. Minnesota yeah. Nice calling official review, which will be officially reviewed by the officials. Another fun fact about our officials, uh, Josh Bleeden, his favorite part of being an official is jam timing. Oh, that's, yeah. somebody Somebody just made that up and told you about that, right? Perhaps, yeah. Yeah, okay. He's not even out here right now, but <laughs> hopefully right. listening somewhere. <laughs> hopefully. And will give us other non-correct fun facts about other officials. Well, okay. Looks like the coaches and the captains conferring with each other across team lines. You don't always see that at an official review. Yeah. Sometimes they're very uh, uh, separated. I see in this smiles time. as well. Ooh, Breezes. smiles. Breezes there with Animal. I don't know if we mentioned the um, coaching staff. 
For Minnesota, we've got Animal, Baba Stefka, Slayer, and Duggar. Um, they're called the Matriarchy. They are a powerhouse of coaches. Um, I dare you to not love them if you've ever met them. The coaches for Windy City um, Second Wind is Aha Gabor, uh -huh. Machete Holiday, Zotrocious, or Zoe Trocious, and Impale Ale. And now I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? A little bit. What is a group of zebras called? Uh, Someone knows that out there. That's I don't trivia. know. That's our trivia of the half. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody. I think it's a sparkle. A sparkle of zebras? Sure. It might be. Sparkle, a spackle, a shimmer? I don't know. It could be. Speaking of, speaking of those kind of words, uh, every time ballers on the track, not at this moment, but every time, with the sequins, always with the sequins. Yes. Do sequins sparkle? Is that what they do? Do they shimmer? Do they shine? How do they? I think I'm always wondering what, what yeah. the proper verb is. Good question. I, th I think sequins do whatever they want. I think there are times that, that they fair. shimmer. Okay. Definitely sparkle. Okay. If baller is wearing them, I would see a lot of sparkle happening. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the word that came to mind. Yeah. Yeah. I would go with that for sure. We also have um, our fabulous EMTs in the house helping uh, keep everyone safe. You know, we've got Kitty Nip, who's been here all weekend. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate our volunteers looking out for our skaters. We've got some fabulous photographers as well. Ron Wilbur over here with some big lenses, capturing some amazing derby shots. Love to look at those in the next couple of days. Indeed. As our referees, uh, looks like they've come to some sort of decision, or at least the conversation split up. So we'll see what happens here with this Minnesota Nice challenge of the official call. Official review, officially, uh, officially reviewing something official. Um, yeah, they broke into smaller groups. Um, still a lot of conversation happening. Maybe, maybe they split it into like subcommittees. Perhaps. Um, they might be talking about uh, where we should go later today. Um, oh. Camp Bar oh. is always a great place to head to for okay. drinks and fun. I know there's a um, 5 o'clock party there tomorrow. Oh. That's I what I heard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. Y'all should join me. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I, maybe I will. Yeah, I don't know. 5 o'clock Sunday. Why not? I don't work except Sunday morning, so that seems fine. I love it. Okay, so Animal is doing a happy dance. <laughs> and I hear you we know, won. Whatever it actually was, I don't know if somebody is going to come and tell us what that might be or not. We'll, um, we'll just guess. Well, that is extremely helpful to us as announcers way over here because we're not getting a report of what was of challenged what was. or what happened, but we saw... Something derby-related got challenged. Uh, Minnesota Nice won. We currently only have Breezes skating as a jammer, so um, perhaps something jammer-related. And Breezes on that line. <laughs> Leaving the track... Wah, wah. Yes. That's the, uh, that, uh, you, an official review that's successful, and you're excited, and you've got the energy built up, and then the jammer penalty is kind of a, kind of a let down in that uh, early in a jam like that. So as Breeza sat down, the jammer for Windy City was released, as will happen per the rules, and uh, Breeza only had to sit for the amount of time that the second wind jammer, um, that is Tina Fatal, right? was sitting for. So both jammers back on the track is what the important thing is, except for not any longer. Breezes ah. is going back to the box with a multiplayer block. You don't see a lot of those on the jammer, but that was the call. And we were talking yeah. about it, Shug and I, last night, that you don't see a lot of that. She was like, how does that happen? I'm like, I've seen it. In Shug here. is not watching now. She's at the lake, but oh, good uh, for we'll, her. we'll have to tell yeah. her about it tomorrow. Yeah, Breezes kind of had her hands up in the air a little bit when she sat down, too. Like, well, not sure what I just did. It was not... Okay, I'll try not to do that again. It's a jammer penalty is happening out here. So, um, Windy City looking to help their jammer through. But a strong set of Minnesota blockers on the track. And Tina Fado calls it off. 
after gaining eight points total on that jam. Well. Oh, 10 points. 10 points yeah. on that jam, actually. Yeah, the, the, I saw the, the jam ref uh, signaling to the outside refs trying to determine how many points were scored on that final pass. Two was the number of fingers that went up. Right, eight, eight plus two. Math. Math is awesome. I love math. Valkyrie was jamming and is now uh, heading for the penalty box. So we've got second wind on a power jam with Nicholas Rage, very formidable jammer, pushing up front against Iser Slam and Baller past those sparkly sequin shorts to gain lead jam status. Looks like she's either doing some deep breathing or a little signaling. Either way, coming up hot on that pack of two because we do have some other penalties happening for Minnesota. Iser Slam working to get up with her blocking friends. Great job there by Nicholas Rage, just breaking right through the tripod formation. I don't think the formation was quite as well set as some we've seen tonight, and uh, Rage made it look easy. Continuing to rack up points for the second wind. And Windy City really doing a great job of recycling up front. Um, do we have a couple, a penalty here on the pivot for second win? But Valkyrie getting through on that initial pass. Oh, yes. Nicholas Rage getting knocked around a little bit at the end there, does get through and calls it off. So with a score of 184 for the second win to 48 for the Minnesota Knights, the ratio of scoring, I believe, is 46 to 12, although I guess you can divide that one more, so it would be 23 to 6. 23 to 6. Um, yes, so having T-Rex <laughs> pop out of that uh, pack, gaining lead at Jam Status, looking to add a couple more points for Minnesota Nice, but does have Hannibal Wrecker right on her tail, coming around the outside. T-Rex does get four points. And it's gonna keep going, it looks like. Yeah, there have not been a lot of high scoring jams tonight for the Minnesota Nice. T-Rex has had a couple of them though, and so they trusted her to get a couple more points on that second pass, a 2-0 second pass making that a six-point jam Very for the nice. nice. Very nice, yeah. T-Rex being quite successful tonight, as she was yesterday. Um, strong jammer. We've got a pretty deep jammer line for Minnesota Nice. We've seen a number of jammers out there, and it looks like we have Sodium Fina, so fine, back on that line again, up against Blink 1-Skatey 2. So fine's up at the front up against that tough tripod from second win. And Blink 1 Skatey 2 is the lead jammer in this jam. Bumping up against Iser Slam OGs and Pretty Reckless for holding her back there. So fine has all four blockers to beat up front. Does have an offensive blocker helping, but boy, it's tough because you got the tri the triangle to the square, back and forth, and the recycling by the second win blockers. We've seen so much of this tonight. It also looks like that uh, jammer cap has been passed to Baller. So so fine's doing a little offense, but Baller um, is working on getting through. Tiny bit of hesitation as the second win blockers reform. Someone is going to the box on a multiplayer block. That looks like it is 69. That is demand a beating. While Blink 1 Skatey 2 pulls up some other points there. 
gets knocked to the outside. The big hit to the out. Baller does have the Jammer Star on her helmet. And is up against Sandy Cheeks. And kicking Mick Chuggett. So Baller sparkling her way to four points for the Nice as the jam is off. Well done. 200 points on the board for the second wind. Now 204 points to 58 for the Nice. All right, we're getting Little Rascal back out on the line. Got a number of people here uh, cheering out for Little Rascal and of course the rest of the Minnesota Nice. Got quite a crew um, cheering for second wind. We've got their, their A team coming up next, as we mentioned. Brutal Brit knocking Tina Fatal around a bit. And Tricky but Pixie she forcing. Oh. She is out for lead jam. Sorry, Nasty. That was uh, just going to say Tricky Pixie was the one to force Little Rascal to recycle around the same time. But Ras Little Rascal is through as well. Yeah, tricky, 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 pixie. Again, difficult to say. Very effective blocking, however. Little Rascal just now getting around her for four points. We are continuing this jam. Little Rascal up against Tricky Pixie. Slides right by. Four more points. And Tina Fatal goes down as she's calling it off. Yep. Always fun to see somebody call it off from laying on their stomach. You don't see a ton of that, but Tina Fatal pulled it off with a plomb there after the big hit from Esmeralda. Yeah. That can be a little, little bit difficult. Uh, make sure you don't hit a chin, split something open as you're down there calling it off. Hannibal Wrecker and Val Carey for their teams to the jam line. Eight minutes left in this bout on the period two clock. So no lead, a, a no penalty, no pass situation there for Hannibal Wrecker. Right. But eligible to score points and doing so as gets through for four. So lead still uh, possible as far as we know for Valkyrie. Yes. And she has just been called the jammer for this jam. Although she's got a number of windy second wind blockers trying to push her out. There's a penalty on 187 that is Kick in McChuggett. Thank you. I've decided to learn that one. Who appears to have taken a bit of a shot to the nose and was displeased by that and the call, I think. Absolutely. It was holding her face as she was being called on a penalty. Um, Valkyrie is calling it. After receiving a couple of points. We have a number of other volunteers making this tournament possible. It looks like we've got medical from Windy City as well as our wonderful EMTs. We've got a lot of um, Minnesota volunteers and fans here today. We appreciate that. And T-Rex back on the line up against Blink 182. Tiptoeing around that out and then to the middle. T-Rex really pushing hard up front. <coughs> Brutal holding one skatey two back. Sugar Beatdown is also there, and T-Rex successful in gaining the lead jam status. That's right, very impressive tonight, T-Rex uh, jamming. Hasn't jammed as much as some of these jammers, I think, before, but 
really doing a good job. But like you said, hopping around, a lot of stepping around. It's fun to see T-Rex's off-skate personality come through when she's skating. You see that even more when she's jamming. Absolutely, I would agree with that. Just constant motion from T-Rex all the 24-7. Reminder to keep an eye out for our officials, whether you're on skates or not. It looks like kicking McChuggett came out of the box, made contact with an official, and was sent right back to the box again. We want to make sure that everyone is safe out there. So four points there for Blink, but and the jam is over. Four more for T-Rex, so that is an 8-4 jam in favor of Minnesota Nice, bringing them to 76 points, second win at 227. Again, for those of you watching at home, thank you for tuning in. We've got Minnesota Nice in black with the Aqua and Army, mainly Aqua helmets, and we've got second wind in the white jerseys with red and that fun uh, flag in the front. Indeed. We've got an official timeout here with four minutes and 58 seconds listed on the period clock. So nearing the end of this one, 227 to 76, the listed score in favor of the second wind, whose defense has really been the story of this one. I can only imagine what they're talking about out there now. Ermergerd is making some hand motions. There's an official grabbing some water. Um, everybody else listening very intently. And I'm not very good at charades, but we've got apron and aneurysm also deep in conversation. Indeed. All super important information. Super, super important. Did we figure out what a group of zebras was called? I didn't, because I've been working instead of Googling <laughs> stuff on my phone. I'll give a dollar to anybody who tells me. This one, look at this. We've got like both teams just standing in a circle having a chat. Oh, you don't see, see a ton because of derby. that. Because derby, because yeah. Derby, derby love. Yeah, Am so I often you get the two teams, like each, each group of blockers, you know, talking to each other, and then the two jammers behind the line trying to decide whether they want to talk to each other or not. This time right. we just got a whole, like, I feel like they're going to yeah. start, like, one will start dancing in the middle of that circle pretty soon. It'll I would be baller. I hope so. Ma yeah, yes, maybe a little. So, fun fact about baller great at break dancing, also raps, and teaches dance. And uh, yoga. I went to one uh, of her yoga sessions. It was amazing. Um, she talked her dad into being there as well. Um, awesome. It was a very sweaty, fulfilling, stretching uh, situation. Baller is multi, multi-talented. Once again, we're joining you here from the Doug Woog Arena in sunny South St. Paul, Minnesota. Doug Woog, obviously, from my observations, a, uh, an ice hockey arena normally. And we've got, uh, must be home with the South St. Paul Packers based yeah. on the tremendously large number of banners hung from the ceiling. Right, and that big sign there that There's has a, the... Oh, that's a big sign. Yeah. You are um, correct. So zebras, <clears throat> they can be called a zeal, a crossing, a cohort, a herd, but... But... My favorite now that I've looked it up and figured it out, is a group of zebras is called a dazzle. Ah. Dazzle. Zebras, the, dazzle, lots of Zs. The internet has told me that before. Yeah. we got to remember that for next time. I mean, I can't make any promises. We've got So Fine on the line. Nicholas against, Rage. Yeah, Nicholas Rage, who is up against uh, Baller's sparkly backside. Kung Pao pushing her out. They're drawing her back. Esmeralda also part of that tripod in the back being very effective against Nicholas Rage, which is difficult. She's a super jammery jammer, agile and jumpy. For the second win, we've got out there Demand a Beating. I saw Pika Bruise. Ah, I think yes. Trouble Helix is out there as well. Looks like the star has been passed for Minnesota. Meanwhile, Nicholas Rage is your lead jammer on a scoring pass. Right, so we've got Kung Pao Bitchin with that uh, Jammer Star on, but Nicholas Rage calls it off. As the referees confer and find out how many points scored by the second win, zero points in the air for Minnesota. And it looks like the Nice are going to use a second official review. Because they won that previous one. Yeah, that's right. I think last night Jacksonville used three official reviews in the course of about... The other fun use of the number three in last night's in one of last night's bouts was when three different jammers went to the box in the same jam. That's a good time. 
Go to the box, come back, pass the star, go to the box. It was fun. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> Not I was for like, those oh. jammers, probably. Ah, but, they get uh, a break. It was fun. Part of derby. They're rested and refreshed when they get out of that penalty box. Sure, though. 30 seconds rest. Sometimes that's all you need. Look on the bright side. I'll try. Thank you. Is that part of your sermon tomorrow? <laughs> I <Looking> seriously <laughs> doubt it. No, nah. If a Lutheran tells you to look on the bright side, just walk out. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, we've got our Dazzle of Zebras back together again. Very stripy group, um, as well as the same foursome chatting. That's right. Yeah, they're continuing the conversation, undoubtedly. Sure, from previously. Looks like Breezes is, is uh, telling an anecdote or reenacting something, probably, that has nothing to do with roller derby. It's something that happened at the mall, I'm guessing. I hope. I don't know. Maybe, um, yeah, she's good at stories. Maybe something about animals or family or something she's building in the wood shop. Animals talking about uh, petting kittens, I believe, was that sign? Okay. Petting kittens. Petting kittens, yeah. okay. That's very believable. Or spinning wool. Could be either of those things. She's got an entire craft room that's got a lot of cool stuff in it. I get really confused between petting kittens and spinning wool. Yeah. And yep. I can only tell because I'm allergic to cats, so eventually the petting kittens goes bad. I'm like, I'm not spinning wool at all. And then I run out and find some Benadryl. Don't get those confused. That's I, no good. It's no good. Don't try to spin wool if you're indeed petting kittens. I they thought don't I was spinning wool this whole time. The whole time. Don't shear a cat. That doesn't go over very no. well. Um, nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of construction happening by our house, so our cats are super happy and purry until something oh. shakes the house. Oh. And then you're lucky if you don't get clawed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody's a little more aware around our house right now. So, for those of you at home, um, you're probably seeing uh, the feed. And we've got Victory Arms again over at Minnesota Nice Event. Animal giving Victory Arms, which uh, I believe indicates they have won that official review. Wow, you don't see a team win two official reviews in the same bout very often. Little Rascal also giving some jazz hands, ready to jam in this power jam situation. Yep, so Tina Fatal right starting this jam again. off in the box for the second win. Yes. Little Rascal forced to recycle there by Pitbull Princess. It's a very fitting name, knocking, knocking the jammer to the outside. And again, number 21, um, really strong with those hits. Tricky, Pixie. Got a lot of skaters on the ground while Rascal is pushing up front. Hoping to push and get no pack, but we've got Windy City bridging back. A little one on one from Pitbull Princess. And number nine, Nicholas Rage, is out of the box and has become lead jammer for second win. Brutal Brit uh, skating backwards. She does that very well. Fun fact, has been in uh, figure skating dance competitions and has the jammer cap in her hand as she skates backwards out of that pack. Always a good time. Signature Brutal Brit move right there. Brutal hit the, hitting the pack in a manner befitting her name does manage to score, I believe that's three points for the Nice on that jam. I concur. It looks like three fingers being held up by Elk. So less than two and a half minutes left in this one. Mm -hmm. 
Hannibal Wrecker and Val Carey to the line for their respective teams. Empty penalty boxes to start this jam. Valkyrie coming up against some tough blocking in the front, but Hannibal Wrecker has been drawn back and is being held by Minnesota Nice. Looks like we have malls to the walls, sugar beat down, and pretty reckless holding Hannibal Wrecker. Well, Valkyrie is pushing and tiptoeing around that outside to become your lead jammer. We have Hannibal Wrecker heading to the box, so this is a power jam. Valkyrie again on that outside. Excellent job there by Valkyrie. Uh, making it through on the outside. Similar passes those two times, and now getting a lot of offensive blocking help. Very fast pack. Valkyrie up front against one blocker. That is Sandy Cheeks. That's right. Just pushing to get to more points. That moment of fast pack reminded me of when I first watched roller derby back in 2006 in Windy City, back when they skated at Cicero. Yeah, derby, derby has gone through a lot of iterations, different strategy, different rules. Valkyrie coming back into the Windy City blockers, looking to the outside and then to the in, while Hannibal Wrecker has made that initial pass, and Valkyrie wisely calls it off. So a timeout called by Minnesota because there's, there would have been less than 30 seconds on the period clock. That could have been the last jam of the bout, but the timeout preserves, so there will be at least one more jam. Bonus jam. Bonus derby is everybody's favorite derby. Yes, absolutely. And we're T-Rex on the line from, it looks like, Minnesota Nice. We've got T-Rex out there in this bonus jam. Blocking, we've got OGs, Brutal Brit, Iser Slam, and Esmeralda. Fun fact, Esmeralda and HSB Trippin and I did some training with Level 1 uh, Rec League. And we've got some hollering from the stands. That's right. There's a, there's a couple of particularly rowdy fans up there. Yeah, fan uh, engagement, rowdy. Retired Minnesota Roller Girls, recently retired Minnesota Roller Girls announcer, John Maddening is up there uh, aggressively yelling at people. And I being guess. heard, big and surprise. Being heard. Well, honestly, totally. yeah, totally shocking. Yeah. I would have expected more heckling of the announcers, but we're just not paying attention yeah, to him. so like I feel like can't hear whatever, hear whatever he is saying. It's a, it's a good plan. And Minnesota Nice Bench is chanting <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> she even did the T-Rex arms. Yes, <laughs> that was great. beautiful. And she's running right through the middle and then on the out, as T-Rex does, jumping around, jumpy jammer working it while blink one skatey two is trapped in that back with uh brutal brit either slam esmeralda and oh geez oh geez t-rex using all her effort to move that group of blockers really doing a nice job T-Rex is named Lee Jammer. And great awareness of what was happening with uh, the people who were blocking her. She got up, got back on the track, and is now looking to score some points. Absolutely. So the period clock is over. This one's going to go as long as T-Rex wants it to go up to the two-minute uh, natural conclusion. Oh, nice offensive blocking there by... By OGs, of, I think it was. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. And Esmeralda. A lot of, lot of O happening as the second wind jammer is in the box. So this is a power jam for T-Rex. Powering through. Ugh. Pushing, pushing, pushing. So Blink back on the track and back in the pack. Hitting Sorry. hard, getting a little help from one of her blockers as well, but being pulled back by Brutal Brit, Esmeralda. B 
brutal Brit with some great wherewithal. Oh, yeah. get to the outside. Comes cruising through to, uh, to take care of the second wind jammer. That is the end of the bout. The unofficial score, 239 for the Chicago Windy City Rollers second wind. And 94 for Minnesota Roller Girls, Minnesota Nice. Very exciting game. A lot of heart, strength, agility, powering through. So we have a little bit of a break. Yeah. Before our final game of tonight, we have a lot more derby happening tomorrow.